Hi guys, so today I have another Derwent set. Uh, this is a line and wash paint pen set. You get 12 colors inside and also two line markers. These colors are, we will see, I'm not, I do not think they are all ink tens. I think there are also some maybe graffiti ink or other colors, we will see. It should be written inside the box usually that was the case every time uh, i bought a set like this and yes it is so as you can see here uh, and i find that so nice so they write for everything what it is so this is intense color you have three intense no you have more so there is also this one this one and this one you have graffiti colors and pastel shade colors i actually have um the pastel um tin and do i have a craft tint i think i have oh i cannot remember um one of those one of them i do not have i'm not sure right now if it was graphic tint or that other one uh there is one more so yeah and this is how they look like they come in these small trays i actually have one here on the side um yes this is i think this is the same color yes this is it is this is my mango i got it in another set and as you can see i some do have some double colors and you can take this out that's what i did from the other palette and additionally you can also take out these uh small pens what i find nice is that they fit well inside you do not have to try and take them out from here you just have to press with your finger here on the bottom so they come out really easily which is so nice i think the design is really cool um because at first i was having some difficulties to take them out like this i was like trying trying did not work but yeah you just have to press with your finger from underneath and they just, they just pop out and yeah and you get a brush watercolor brush i don't know i don't know you even want to say how many of these ones i have now so you get one with every set okay so what should i do yeah i will i think i yeah i will do the swatch of course and then probably uh, just paint something with them so if you like these some of these colors uh, on cooled pens they sell them individually so they're actually you can buy individual pens which is also really cool um i think i saw that also on the saa web page but um from what i remember they are more like discontinuing them there I think they will not be selling them anymore because they are like on, on offer for one euro um, but they did not have so many colors so this is one of them which i got what is this racing green there went intense paint pen so this one i got from the saa then i have others which i got from that cold pens uh, website so yeah when you buy these individual sets uh, you will get some double colors because they do repeat not all of them but they do repeat some colors for example uh, here i have the pastel shades uh, set and what you get inside is for example the storm gray the storm gray you get it also in this set but also in the pastel set And those things change oh i do have some other colors here what do i have here i forgot that i put them here i think these are additional ink tense colors which i bought uh mid ultramarine kiwi yes yes these are the additional ink tense um burnt yellow ochre so yeah you can i just took the brush out and i'll put the pens inside okay oh, yes 
Oh, and I just noticed that I have some color here. I was painting before. <laughs> I need to wash this off. Uh, yeah, that's how the life of a painter looks like. It's like if you have a color somewhere, it just becomes normal to you. So here are the colors that you have, uh, if I remember right, the Intense Natural Brown and Intense Mango are new colors, so they are additional to that 72 set of Intense colors and you can buy them open stock. The swatch does not really fit to, to the how the colors look like. Mm, yeah. I mean, this artichoke is much darker on this watch than, than here. And also the blue color, at least the one that I have, uh, bright blue, bright blue does not really look like the swatch. So that is one thing. So this is just like approximately, but not really how the swatch looks like. And yeah, let's just check that one thing. So intense colors should not uh, actuate with water. Eight. Eh? This one is activating. Mm. Hmm. Now I'm a little bit uh, surprised. Okay. So I actually, in, now that I think about it, I never did a uh, like a test or, or review of the intense colors maybe i should do that because i have the intense blocks okay so they do not activate so much but they do activate and somehow i thought that the intense colors do not activate hmm okay uh what else do we have here okay graffiti i mean these do lift much more than these ones, than the red one you see here, still it's really strong, but I was able to move the color. That is the thing. Um, it did not lift so much, but it still moved. Maybe when there is a light, light layer. Okay. Okay, so if you are putting light layers, then you will not activate the layer underneath okay okay because here should let's see this one is activating more but also not so mm. yeah okay either way i am surprised that intense moved so much i was really not expecting that okay at least this one is moving less but still it is moving yeah, so I'm gonna do a drawing. I hope you will enjoy it. And yeah, let's see how that turns out.
how the final piece looks like i only use the 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 colors from the line and the wash paint set from durant and i just the colors are really nice and also you can mix them uh, to get some other colors but i think more or less i really used single colors here maybe only for the foreground for this part here i did mix uh, the colors like with that orange what was it mango i think i mixed that one with the graffiti color i think with the port uh, i've mis mixed that but other colors are yeah they are like this is the blue intense uh this is the gr blue gra graffiti i think and for the greens i've used the meadow um yeah so you can do so much with this set and even though you do not have a really dark color maybe that is something i was mix missing here you can still use those line markers to make shutters or to make some parts appear much darker than they are so like here or also these parts here i did use the marker additionally and all in all i i really love this set and i had so much fun and i also you had fun watching me painting this yeah that would be all guys thank you for watching and see you next time bye